Okay, we've come so far now. We started out using some of the uh, Roland technology with, with Music Assistant, quick registrations, and that's all well and good. But now we're to the point where you're creating your, your, own, little, your own little slant out of developing your own personal style uh, and instrumentation. So what's important, as we talked about last time, is if you select different registration for each one of the banks of registration buttons and combine them, then you end up getting a really wonderful sound that you might want to use in some of your different songs and your arrangements. But, okay, let's, let's go through it again just so we're all, we're all together here. I think we press this jazz one, we press the strings, press the brass. That sounds right. So, and we stored them in, press the right button, and we stored it in number one here. Now, this is good. It's all in these little buttons here between the manuals. However, I want to show you how to take that information and that data and store it to a, an external device, okay? A memory stick or a thumb drive as they call it. So let's go back to the touch screen. We're on the home screen again, right? As we started the first time we met, okay? If I press the registration button, okay? Now registrations can be what they call user registrations or they can be external memory. This is what we talked about now. That's the stick. That's the memory stick. So let's press this one again. The user means the memory that is embedded in the organ itself and in this particular organ that I'm seated at right now. So I could actually play a concert here, and if I had put all those registrations into the organ I'm at, then there'd be no problem. However, if you're going to be changing registrations, or in my case, if I'm going to be playing a different atelier, it's imperative that I put it on a memory stick as well. You can, you can store it in the user, or you can store it in the external memory. But it behooves you to do this, because otherwise, the minute you change from one bank of sounds to another, your original registration will be uh, long gone, and that's a source of complete frustration for everyone, including yours truly. All right, so here we go. Here's the touch screen, and uh, we'll start again. We're going to exit. We're going to go here to registration. Right now it's on user, and um, so we can store this. It says load and save. Load means you're going to take your sounds, your registrations, and you're going to load them into the organ, or you're going to load them into the memory stick. And I'll show you that in a second. And then you're going to go to save if you want to, if you want to save those so that you don't lose them. If I press save... Now it says, do I want to overwrite the registration? And yeah, I do. So I'm going to press OK. And now it says original or the R series. Uh, you're always safe to just press where it says, not press original, but to observe that and press OK. OK? It says executing. And so now the sounds are in there that I want to be able to retrieve. If I wanted to put it on the memory stick, which is to my right down here, I would check, press this again, and then I would find an empty slot. I'm going to this little wheel here, or you can use these cursors if it's more comfortable for you, and find one that doesn't have anybody in it. This one's vacant, number nine. So I'm going to save that. I'm not going to load it. I'm going to save it because I already did lo load it into the presets. I'm going to press original. Yeah, that's okay. Now, it's in there. So the only thing left to do now is to give it a name because those are sounds, and if you can remember where everything is on your memory stick or on your internal memory, well, then my hat's off to you. Uh, I, I frankly can't. So instead of this being the sounds for the song Tangerine, let's say they're the sounds for uh, Moon River, just for fun, okay? Do you see this little black square down here? You press that, and one of the options says Rename. I'm going to press rename because we don't want it to be tangerine. I'm going to go back, back, back with the cursor. Goodbye to tangerine. Bye, bye, bye. See ya. Okay. And we're going to make it instead the song Moon River. N space R I. I can spell V E R. So now I've gave, given this, this registration panel a new name. It's going to be my, re my registration for the beautiful song Moon River. Now, what do we have to do? We press OK. OK? But we have to save it. Still thinks it's tangerine. So let's save it. Save. Overwrite the registration. Sure. That's what we want to do. OK? OK? Now, let's see what happens. <gasps> Hello. Now it says Moon River. So that's how easy it is to do. 
Um, I frankly, I'll, I'll divulge this because you're seeing it on the screen here. When I put a number after it, it tells me how many presets I have set for those particular songs. For example, by Henry Mancini medley, I use all 12 of these presets that appear in between here. So you can do that if you want to. That's just kind of up to you. Again, you have the cursors to use, or if it's more comfortable, you can use this, this little, this little fast-acting wheel here. So again, it's either save or load. This, this load system is if you're taking the, the sounds from the instrument and you're loading them into the organ or into the memory stick, or both, okay, can't be too, can't be too thorough these days. Uh, or, and the save uh, is when you're going to save them and if you're going to load them from the stick or from the organ itself in, into your own private registrations. So it's, it's kind, of a, kind of a fun thing to do, and don't, don't be frightened of it. You can abbreviate um, uh, some of these um, different things that won't fit, that there's not enough room on the, on the little uh, uh, board here. Uh, so let's, let's I'm gonna go to load, we're gonna load a registration. tune that I played and uh, we use some of the registrations that I had preset on the memory stick. It's either internal or external memory or you can store it on both. That way you have it in the organ. You also can take it with you to wherever you want to go when you have a friend who has an atelier organ. It becomes your registrations. So it's very cool stuff. You learned how to name it. You learned how to uh, know from a load and from uh, the save menu and how to store it either in the uh, memory stick or in the internal memory of the instrument. Getting exciting? I think so. Hey, we're just getting hot here, so I'll look for you next time. Thank you for stopping by and for listening. Take it easy.